President Biden this week expected to announce his choice of Fed chair. It's a choice that right now looks to be between Fed chair Jay Powell and Fed governor Lael Brainerd. The big question is, why is it taking so long? Senior economics reporter Steve Leisman joins us right now with how market strategists believe some sectors will be impacted if Biden surprises the markets and picks Brainerd. And Steve, going back and forth on this, I mean, it's a vote count, it looks like. It, I think that's a big part of it. That's what we were talking about last week. And uh, because it's taken so long, people have time to think about it. Prediction markets continue to see Fed Chair Powell as the favorite, about a 70 percent chance compared to just 30 percent for a call for Fed Governor Leo Brainerd. But market strategists still thinking about what it would mean if it's a surprise and Brainerd is appointed. Several assume she's going to be more dovish than Powell and be somewhat slower to raise interest rates. So Peter Bookvar of Bleakley Advisors tells me, Buy commodities on the assumed even more dovish path and sell the dollar. Gold and silver rally, he says. Brainerd suggested a greater role for the Fed in evaluating banks for their risk on their for the risk on their books from climate change. That could lead to less financing for oil companies, and that could help existing oil companies. Barry Knapp of Ironsides Macro says restricting exploration will drive prices higher, the opposite of how the stocks performed during the last shale boom last cycle. Brainerd could end up as vice chair for, for supervision, and she's opposed reforms enacted by the Federal Reserve to the Dodd-Frank banking bill. Someone appointed by the Biden administration will hold that job. So Isaac Boltanski from BTIG says that person will reverse some Trump era actions and focus intently on climate issues. All of that points to the annual stress test for banks getting harder. There's no obvious crypto play here. Brainerd favors the central bank digital currency, Powell hasn't said. It's unclear if, if, if uh, Brainerd's intent would be to crowd out private players in the market. In any event, any action would be several years down the road. So investors might want to wait or, or wait judgment on these trades until President Biden names other members to the Fed's Board of Governors. He'll have four picks if he chooses Brainerd and three, Becky, if he chooses Powell. Is the theory that if he does choose Powell, then Brainerd automatically becomes vice chair? That would be one of the theories. And then you want to look at how dovish or hawkish the rest of the uh, the board ends up being, Becky. There may have to be some political compromises. Let's say he picks Brainerd for chair. Perhaps there are other choices that are made that are, I don't know, more centrist or more or more hawkish to get Brainerd through. There's a huge political calculus here, and maybe part of the reason why it's taking so long. The, the clock is ticking. I mean, this has to be done by February? Um, yeah, and the clock is ticked, Becky, because I think this is the latest appointment of a Fed chair that we've seen. Uh, I don't know how far back we can go, but, but usually... By the 21st of November, uh, the Fed chair is picked. And then, by the way, I think the question is how much time there is, you know, to get uh, to have the hearings. I assume the Senate can do this, but uh, it is certainly late in the game. They don't have much else going on in Congress right now. No worries. Steve, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.